So as we break down the hurrier model of listening, the next step is to look at the you in that process, which is understanding. So as we know, you know, for context here, we've, we're taking a look at each of these elements individually, the H U R I E R of the hurrier model standing for hearing, understanding, remembering, interpreting, evaluating, and responding. And in this short video, we're going to take a look at the understanding aspect of listening. So it fits into the hurrier model here. As you can see, it's kind of mixed in with the interpreting and evaluating aspects. Those really all have to do with, with coming to some interpretation, understanding of what is being said and to processing that information and, and deriving meaning from what the other person is saying. So it follows being able to hear really next up is then understanding as part of that process. Understanding if, if we break it down to its most basic level has to do with the, the, uh, to perceive the meaning of something or to have the power of comprehension. So again, just that base level understanding, can you comprehend what the other person is saying? Do you uh, share a sense of meaning with the words that they're using and the nonverbals that you're picking up on? Do you have some basic sense of understanding of what that person is trying to communicate? So there are a couple factors in understanding that we're going to take a look at. Um, first and foremost is language. Are we speaking the same language? Literally and figuratively, are we speaking the same language in terms of, are we both speaking English or Chinese or Spanish or some language that we have some common understanding of? And then are we using words within that language that we, that we share an understanding of? Maybe you may be speaking English with that person, but maybe not, not have a sense of understanding either. So we're going to take a look at language specifically and how it factors into all this. We're also going to look at context. What does it mean to be able to understand in the, the context of two-way communication and one-way communication or in virtual communication, those types of things. We're going to take a look at context and see the factor that it play, how it factors into the listening process. And then intention. What does it mean to be an intentional listener in terms of understanding? We want to understand that as well. So if you have questions about any of this as we're Jumping into the understanding aspect of the hurrier model, please feel free to email me. I'd love to hear from you there. Otherwise, I hope you'll continue on and look into this important aspect of the listening process through the hurrier model as we take a look at understanding.